LM Studio is one of the best graphical user interface to run local LLMs on your devices. I have done a detailed video about it. You can watch it. Graphical user interfaces are great in terms of manual interaction. How about programming interface? It's hard to control GUI through program and it's not flexible for application development. That is the topic of this video. Welcome to TechNerds. In this video, we will see how to install and use the LMS, the brand new command line interface for LM Studio. Okay, what are the features? Uh, load, unload models, control the server programmatically, list models and more. All of, all from command line. And LMS is MIT licensed and quick setup with a single command. It is available from LM Studio version 0.2. 2.22 Okay, what we will see the agenda will be how to install LMS and run the LMS list models, load the model and verify through AP access with REST client. Uh, let's go ahead and see this. Okay, so how do we get access to this? First of all, um, this is the GitHub URL. I'll provide this in the description. We go ahead and see the details. Okay, so the way we get this is, um, for example, if you already have LMS Studio, go ahead and update version for 0.2.22, then automatically this will get installed. Otherwise, you can follow this instruction. If you look at the installation step from GitHub, it has LMS chips with LM Studio 0.2.22 and newer. Okay, the so it's the currently updated to this version so already it's shipped so we need to go to the next step that is the bootstrapping this okay let's go ahead and uh, start bootstrapping the command for this will be cmd with the user profile lm studio bin lms.exe say bootstrap okay it's not recognized The error which I'm getting, that's because my user profile is tech. There is a space between nuggets. So that's why. So I'll rerun this command with uh, double quotes. Just make sure your profile does not have any space. Click on this. Ideally, you should see this already installed because I ran this command once. So it's already running. Now let us go ahead and verify this. Uh, open a new terminal. Start typing LMS. Awesome. So you can see this LMS, LM Studio CLI, and uh, there are these are the commands. For example, LMS is your main command, and there are subcommands like status, server, LS, PS, load, unload, create, log, version, bootstrap, all of this. Okay. Let's go ahead and see um, the LMS status. It's off server is not started. So we'll go ahead and start this in the most server start. Okay. Say okay. Perfect. It has started and it is running on port 1234. Now let us run some more commands and check them out. So LMS state this. It's hard. So no more no mod is loaded. Okay. So LMS say list. LMS, you can check your list command that is so uh, short form is ls okay let's go ahead and load well uh, this one microsoft p3 mini okay. so ls load that's the name of the server id let's go ahead and load this so once we load this uh, this lms server will be serving this model on the port number one two three four on localhost 
Okay, now let's go to say LMS status. Perfect. You can say server is on port number one two three four and the loaded model is v three Microsoft v three. Okay. Let us go ahead and check this through a curl command on the rest um, through get command, right? Oh, what do we do? Just go here and say curl http local host golden one two three four slash v1 slash models basically it's going to get you the model perfect so it's listing the model which is loaded and giving you the response very good okay so we have done the get test with command line let's go ahead and do the post with the uh, completion that is uh localhost i'm using uh, anyway for your information i'm using advanced rest client this is basically the client used for any uh, rest api testing okay so localhost 1234 v1 chat completions and the uh, body is a raw json that you have to provide here this will be a model id then message and what i'm saying always answer in rhymes and role as user uh, introduce yourself is a command and temperature controlling 0 0.7 max token is minus one stream is false so that means it's going to give you the entire result at one shot so if you make it true it is going to give you stream by stream okay let's go ahead and click this perfect it has started pulling the response it should take a few seconds perfect we receive the response you can see this and you can see model id the content so you can see hello i'm friend because it's an assistant it's going to give you this uh with the tales for shared stories to star it's because we give give it in rhyme style that's why it's giving so this is how we test this and uh, this is a quite useful command line interface it can be used for any of your poc purpose so that's all I had for today. Thank you. See you in the next video.